All right, today I'm working on my 2008 Pontiac G8 GT uh, transmission um, pigtail. So this is one that I got from the junkyard because mine is missing the CPA clip uh, as I was taking stuff apart. I busted it and I have no idea where it's at. So uh, to keep it locked in, I decided to go grab one from the junkyard. I could probably just slip the CPA clip in mine, but I wanted to uh, take a look at this connector and see how it's put together. So the inside of this thing, the middle actually comes out. Um, I've got it loose right now. There's some tabs around the inside, the little plastic tabs. You'll see them. Uh, you'll just use a flathead screwdriver, pry gently against those, and then the middle part of it will come out. So I'm going to discard the ring um, for a second. I'm not going to throw it away. I probably actually need this part uh, for my car. And then I'm going to show you um, how to depin it. So once you get the ring off, you'll have something like this. I've already got mine de-pinned. As you can see, there's no wiring in here. Um, the wiring comes out this backside here, out these holes. Um, and what you'll use, there's little keys. I've got a whole bunch of them here. I got this set off Amazon. I think it was like $15. Uh, they're junk. They are cheap garbage. Um, I broke actually all the ones that were this size. Um, getting all of the wires out but as you can see here's what they look like the the wires are this is from the pigtail and you'll need to choose the right size to go over top of this for mine it was a black colored set um, of these uh, looked similar to this so it was black so it was um, the right size trying to do this one-handed and it will go over top of here pushes against this and releases the lock and then you'll pry against it um, from this side you'll push and then you'll grab a hold of whatever wirings here and gently pull and it should pull out I did have trouble with a couple of these this white uh, thing here is kind of like a lock uh, once you get all of those out I'll set it down here you can see the rubber gaskets around that uh, really makes it frustrating getting these out um, but as you can see it looks like there's barbs right here so your your key will go over top of those and push them in and then you can pull them out the other side I didn't leave myself enough of the wiring to grab a hold from this side to give it a good tug and pull it out um, like I said most of them came out easy you might have to play with this thing and I push it in pull it out a little bit be careful as you can see I busted it right here on mine um, and then that will all come out. I can show you uh, this little clip, this white clip actually comes out and I was curious on how this whole thing's put together. Once you get all the wiring out, the holes that aren't used for the wiring but have rubber, little rubber gaskets in it, just like, let's see if I can get it to focus here, just like right here going through and they're actually like plugs so that probably so that moisture doesn't get in through the holes that aren't being used and they all go through this white clip and I'll pop it out here if you push on that thing once you have everything out this clip comes out and you'll see what it looks like here in a second so I pushed against it and the white clip came out and you can see the Wires all go through there and it acts as a, a little bit of a lock to keep the wires in place. Um, and show you how that just slides in. Make sure I've got it right set up here. Yeah, I do. And it clicks in. You gotta run all the way. So before you would put your wires back in here, if you're changing this thing out, you'd want to make sure that clip's in there first. And then you just push your wires in from this side and it should lock in in place once you get them in there and then you'll put it back inside that this ring and that will be all there is but that's how I depin mine as you can see there's a handful of them right here if you go to the junkyard to get one of these things make sure you leave yourself enough of a pigtail to pull those wires back out but that's my video for today thanks for watching